Larry Peck is one of the top bit and spur experts in the country and the president of the National Bit, Spur, and Saddle Collectors Association. Larry, tell us about your association. Our association has been uh, in existence for between 30 and 40 years. It was founded in Loveland, Colorado. Uh, just a group of guys getting around under a shade tree, trading, thinking that an association would be a good thing. I think that in the beginning the association had like 12 members of these guys and stuff and it's gravitated to the point it's the largest association of its kind in the world. Now I'm talking about all over the world we have members from Japan, Germany, China. And tell me, what does promoting the Western lifestyle mean to you, Larry? It means maintaining a tradition and carrying on a tradition that cannot die and it will die without people like you and I and others that are promoting the Western lifestyle the Western, like I said, the Western traditions. Now you have a very special event going to be going on this evening. Tell us about your charity auction. We had a situation come up yesterday where one of our members that is very well known uh, to everybody and liked by everybody and met some unfortunate circumstances. They are in need of assistance. After the show closes, we will have a live auction, and this auction will consist of items that de dealers from across this show and across the street, all the people that knew these people, and they, they were well known and well liked for sure, they will donate something for this auction, and all the proceeds will go to these people. Our association is here to help, and we help people. And, and, and the bottom line is people helping people. And that's the way life should be. And that's what the Western lifestyle is about. It is about family, faith, and coming together as one. And as you can see, the National Bit, Spur, and Saddle Collectors Association is doing just that. If you buy something, I'm gonna hand it to you. And I'm gonna look you in the eye and I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna pay those girls. And I expect you to pay. And if you don't pay them, you ain't gonna like what I'm gonna say to you tomorrow. So, anyway.